afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our celebration of Thanksgiving in an interfaith way. So this is our second almost annual <laughs> interfaith Thanksgiving service. And I say almost because last year we didn't gather together. This year we're gathering in a way and I say hi to all the folks from First Presbyterian Church. Glad you're with us, welcome in. Hi to all the folks from Temple Beth Shalom. We're so glad you're with us, come on in. My Thanksgiving wish for all of us is that by joining together today, two, three, excuse me, diverse faith communities, that we actually set an example for others that that we recognize, lift up, support, and encourage unity and diversity. So we have the pleasure of First Presbyterian of Sun City and Temple Beth Shalom. All three of us are neighbors. And we enjoy, I, I don't know, I can't speak for you two, but I sure enjoy you. <laughs> And so thank you all for being here. We're going to uh, share some thoughts on Thanksgiving, share some prayers, and then we'll have a responsorial reading which we'll ask you to join in with us on. So take a deep breath. I hope you're comfortable wherever you are right now, resting into the idea of gratitude that is absolutely miraculous. Dana? Uh, thank you, Sharon, and thank you, Tom. And it's wonderful to be here and um, to share our Thanksgiving prayers with the three congregations. We, we share parking lots, and hopefully we share much more. And uh, as Sharon mentioned, we uh, started this tradition two years ago and it was somewhat interrupted by the uh, onset of the pandemic. And we're persistent, so here we are once again. And uh, it just shows that traditions have to be fought for in order to be maintained, and they transform as they go. Uh, I'd like to begin with a short excerpt from Psalm 92, and then a Tov lahodot ladonai lezmer shimcha elyon. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing to your name, O Most High. For the days since we last met and shared our common bond of humanity, we thank you, God. For the heavens which declare your glory and for the earth which shows your handiwork, we thank you, God. For our daily food and drink, Thank you, God. For the concern of those who call us to be good stewards of the earth, we thank you, God. For minds to think, hearts to love, and hands to serve, we thank you, God, on this Thanksgiving week. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dana. And so we continue in prayer. Um, Take another deep breath and close your eyes and join me. God of all nations and all people, we gather together today to envision a world at peace. A world where all people feel a sense of peace and belonging. We affirm and give thanks that you, Lord, are a candle of hope shining bright in the hearts of all people this Thanksgiving season 2021. We give thanks, too, that your love enlightens the hearts of all people this holiday season with a sparkling appreciation for all that is worthy and life-giving. God of all nations and all people, mender of hearts and healer of breaches, we gather together today to count our blessings. 
We pray that your radiant light in each of us be kindled now to be a blessing as we count our own blessings. We rest in knowing that this holiday season unfolds in unparalleled reasons to be grateful. Amen and amen. Please continue with me in prayer. Gracious God, you have filled the skies with beauty. For that, we thank you. You have filled the earth with beauty. For that, we thank you. You have filled, you've composed us in such a way that we have eyes and minds and hearts that can appreciate such beauty. And we thank you for that. Loving God, you have also composed us in such a way that, that we have the capacity for kindness or cruelty, for understanding or for divisions. There is much more joy found in kindness, much more joy found in understanding and we pray that you will fill our hearts with such gratitude that we would seek to live our lives with kindness, with understanding, with compassion toward one another, so that we might more fully enjoy this life and give you thanks for all things. Amen. Amen. so that we would realize we need to be really good neighbors, don't you think? So anyway, I get, I get on the 101, well, I, the bridge over the 101, and it's rush hour and it's rough, but it reminds me of this song, seasonally. Over New River, past 101, on Grand Avenue we go. 
GPS knows the way, but it may take all day because railroad crossings are slow. Over New River Pass 101, New Bakery, New York Bakery is near. I would not change a single thing. I'm so grateful. Rabbi Dana shared a little bit of Psalm 92. Let me read the whole of the psalm to us. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands, I sing for joy. How great are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. The dullard cannot know. The stupid cannot understand this. Though the wicked sprout like grass, and all evildoers flourish, they are doomed to destruction forever. But you, O Lord, are on high forever. For your enemies, O Lord, for your enemies shall perish. All evildoers shall be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox. You have poured over me fresh oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the doom of my evil assailants. The righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they still produce fruit. They are always green and full of sap, showing that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. And I chose for a scripture reading today Paul's, uh, something Paul said to the folks in Thessalonica. And it's, it's quite a, it was when I first read it, quite a shocking scripture. I thought, certainly you don't mean this. But he did. And he said, seek to do good to one another and to all people. Here's the part. 
Rejoice always. Pray constantly. Give thanks in all circumstances. He didn't say just some circumstances. He said all circumstances. For this is the will of God for you. And so give thanks in all circumstances because God is somewhere in all circumstances as a possibility for good. That's what we affirm today, that no matter what's going on, God is in it and there's a possibility for good. I chose a reading uh, from the Talmud, which talks about the various acts and behaviors and virtues that are considered without measure, whose reward is also without measure. The Talmud teaches that these are the obligations without measure, whose reward is also without measure, to honor one's parents, to perform acts of love and kindness, to engage in lifelong learning, to welcome the stranger, to visit the sick, to celebrate with the bride and groom, to console the bereaved, to pray with sincerity, to make peace where there is strife, and religious learning is equal to them all because it leads to them all.
Awesome. Well, here we are at Thanksgiving time, and it's really wonderful to be together, our three congregations. Um, and we must have mixed emotions on this Thanksgiving week. We're grateful to be here. We've been through a lot the last year and a half, and yet we've made it to this point. And for most of that time, it's been rough, it's been isolating, it's been frightening, and yet here we are. We gather today together, God of abundant life, as grateful children. We're delighted and humbled by our bounty in spite of all of the challenges. And we're able to celebrate the gifts of food and shelter, of colors that dance at dawn and at dusk, of the coyotes wandering across the streets, <laughs> looking at us and just keeping on their way, and the rabbits that jump from little patch of grass to little patch of grass wherever they can find it, and looking for those carrots that some of us leave out there on certain nights of the week. We relish the scent of cooking food and particularly, of course, of turkey for those of us who still eat meat and haven't become vegetarians or even vegans. A burning leaves, if there are any here, and the wet grass that is still there. We marvel at the intricacies of nature if we see a spider's web or a fish bone of newborn babies and lines etched on the faces of many of us who are grandparents coming for visits now that we can do so. All are gifts from God's hand. And when our meals will be completed, and I, I hope that in my case, I'll have several Thanksgiving meals if I'm lucky. <laughs> Leftovers will be stashed away, naps taken. We will, live, we will leave with tremendous blessings, energized and eager to go generously into the world and share our good fortune. And one of the purposes of today is to help us to focus on that good fortune and to get us thinking about what it is we can do to make the world a better place, to bring joy and delight and happiness into the lives of, if not many people, then some people, and if not some people, then a few people, and if not a few people, then at least one other person. If we can do that, just start small, and try to spread joy and gratitude throughout. And let us say, Amen. Thanks, Dana. Thank you, Dana. I appreciate the passage that uh, Pastor Sharon shared earlier, that call to us to give thanks in all circumstances. I have to admit, though, that sometimes when I look around at my circumstances and I try to think, what do I thank God for in this circumstance, if my focus is on the circumstance, I, I sometimes cannot find anything to thank God for. And that caused me then to shift my focus a little bit from the circumstances to God. Praise, from what I understand, is a focus more on the characteristic of God than on the circumstances that surround us. Praise is the deliberate act of remembering and declaring the goodness of God regardless of our circumstances. In the process of doing this, our hearts begin to settle into the truth that God's goodness withstands all of our hard times. True praise is not the declaration that our situation 
makes us happy. True praise is the declaration that we can cast our hope on the goodness of God, whether things are going well or poorly for us. Praise then shifts our focus from the limitedness of our own circumstances to the immeasurable love and the immeasurable capabilities of God. And when we focus on those things, then that does stretch our hearts beyond just ourselves to, as Dana was sharing, a care for others. Because when we tap into the heart of God, we are tapping into a heart that is compassionate for all people. So I hope that this will shape our Thanksgiving this coming next Thursday, but in every day throughout the year. Mm. Thanks, Tom. In another lifetime, for me, many years ago, I worked as a gate agent at O'Hare Airport in Chicago. And I loved being at the gates, especially during the holiday season, because there was no more beautiful expression of love and gratitude for one another than the holiday time as parents grabbed grandchildren and hugged them to their hearts, as lovers raced into each other's arms, as parents welcomed their parents it was one of the most beautiful experiences, and I, I want for me and all of us, I hope, to remember that for me, gratitude is a magic bullet. It's the great healer, and so this holiday season, as we gather with families maybe, uh, maybe friends, maybe just one other person, we, we really, let our hearts open wide to appreciate the people in our lives. And it's a good time to be grateful that all people around the globe may be feeling that same gratitude. So Paul said, give thanks in all circumstances. And I call gratitude a magic bullet because if we can get to, if I can get to gratitude in a difficult circumstance, it shifts everything. I talked to one of my congregants today who just had foot surgery and hasn't been able to walk for five weeks. I mean, she gets around on a, on a pair of crutches maybe and a little stroller that you put your uh, knee on. She said, it's been five weeks, but you know what, Sharon? I am resilient. I'm not complaining about it. I'm seeing some good in it. My partner has learned to cook and is cooking the meals. My partner is managing all the household, and I am so grateful for that. So I think if, uh, if I look for a lesson, if I affirm that God is in the difficult stage, in the difficult circumstances, then I'm going to call it forth because I know it exists in the quantum field of all possibility. In this past year and a so, as we uh, had to isolate from friends and family maybe and from doing the things we love to do, I kept affirming that something is trying to be birthed here. And I think that we've seen it as people help one another, as people are giving to one another. We could look at the darker side, but there's so much light, so much light. So I say gratitude is the magic bullet. It turns things around because it turns us around. In the book, The Untethered Soul, written by Michael Singer, who founded the Temple of Universal Peace in Florida. He, he wrote something that I've kept in my heart uh, since I read it in his book. He said, you have to realize that we really only have one decision in life to make. 
And it's not about our career. It's not about who we want to marry. And it's not even about whether or not we want to seek God. The basic, basic choice we have is do I want to be happy or not? Gratitude really assures that happy place. Counting our blessings, finding even some small thing to be grateful for. If we took nothing at all for granted, we can get back to happy. So feeling and expressing gratitude, as Teilhard de Chardin said, is the surest sign of the presence of God. He said, actually, it's love and joy, but gratitude is an expression of love and joy. So when you and I are grateful, we have just connected in a very deep and profound way to the one God, the one God. So I have uh, an assignment, if you're willing. I, I've said it to my congregation, haven't I, Kathy and Mac? Make a gratitude list every day. Make a gratitude list every day, taking nothing for granted, especially at least for the next week. If we all make a gratitude list each day, we'll be in great shape to meet Thanksgiving Day with a big, happy heart. Namaste.
why don't we stand up together? So this is the Ross responsorial piece that we've talked about, and your part, your part, is to say thanks be to God. So the three of us will share a thought, and then after each one, if you would all say thanks be to God. For all that we have and all that we desire, for the good of the past and the good ahead, we give thanks. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. We give thanks for all who are gathered with us today. Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. We thank you, God, that you are our hope in times of trouble and triumph. Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. And together. Thank, thank you, you for, for the, the gifts, gifts of peace and joy, and joy throughout, throughout this holiday season. Amen. Thanks, thanks be, to be to God. That was beautiful, thank you. So all of you out there, will you please send some love and gratitude to this choir for me? Yay, thank you, thank you. And uh, to our choir leader today, Jim, thank you. And to our music team, Molly and the Sparklers, Josh and Linda, thank you. And to the cantor from the temple, Barack, thank you. And to uh, my two illustrious friends, Rabbi Dana Kaplan and uh, Pastor Tom Tripp. Thank you, Tom. And, and Beth, Beth uh, was a lovely soloist from Presbyterian Church. Beth Th maybe. And Beth Maybe. Thank you for that beautiful song. Thank you. And to our tech team back there, thank you so much. Appreciate it. So, a benediction. Take another deep breath. 
May your soul awaken to the adventure of living in these times with unstoppable hope and unconquerable resilience. May this holy season birth in you a new sense of possibility and promise. May your spirit soar in all that delights you. May Thanksgiving 2021 bear you up on wings of peace and joy as you realize that you are a treasure in the heart of God. And may a grateful heart walk you gracefully to the blessings that await you. God bless you, and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you.